Okay. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you want to see on your live scope. Holy smokes. This tree right here. This tree right here is absolutely loaded. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. We are getting into the full swing of summer up here in the North Country. And uh, that means these crop here are gonna slide out a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna be showing you some techniques of how to mark some pieces of cover that uh, are on this river here uh, where you can find some crappie, show you what they look like on side imaging, and most importantly, get to show off some baits today. This video is sponsored by Crappie Monster. Go to crappiemonster.com, use promo code DAVIS, that is capital D-A-V-I-S, all caps, get yourself 20% off. All capital letters, D-A-V-I-S, 20% off. Today, I'm gonna be using some of these natural pattern. These are small fry monster milk. This color pattern is probably gonna work for a lot of you throughout the country. So uh, I'll leave a link in the video description for it. But uh, yesterday I was actually out here, caught a few crappie. Um, I was actually expecting them to be a little bit shallower than, than what they would be. Today is June 17th. And typically this is like our tail end of post spawn up north, um, just getting into that summer pattern uh, for a lot of these crappie and typically i was finding them 10 to 15 feet of water on a lot of our natural lakes but on the river system here they seem to be a little bit deeper that 15 to 20 foot range so i'm going to show you what they look like on side imaging got a couple screenshots yesterday of a bunch of fish by some bridges of course but uh, i want to show you exactly how these fish are setting up on either lay downs or some concrete rock piles there are a ton of fish stacked up on that tree now I showed a few clips how to use side imaging. I've done a few videos of how to use side imaging, but today I just went over side imaging. Uh, I kind of already had this tree marked, but if you didn't, you just troll the shoreline, idle the shoreline, and you could see there were some fish on it with side imaging. Um, not a ton, but I mean, live scope, you can definitely see them. But what you do in, in the summertime when you do find something like this, you idle back over it with either down imaging or 2D sonar if you don't have forward facing sonar. And then once you get right over the top of it with the transducer, you throw your buoy marker out. Since I did find them on that previous summer spot, I figured why not check a couple other summer spots here. to go oh my goodness it is loaded there he is got him that time just had to let him eat a little bit oh they're rock bass <laughs> well sometimes you catch different fish there's got to be a few crappie down there if not we'll, we'll go to another spot here Typically what you're looking for, because this is like late post-spawn, early summer pattern, this mid-June type of time frame. Well, I guess by the time the video comes out, it'll be almost late June, but then you're almost looking for summer patterns. But typically the late post-spawn, usually I don't have to target anything deeper than 15 feet. Even on the river systems, if you can find any type of rocks or timber or brush or something that got swept up in a little back eddy during the spring floods usually if less than 15 foot you can find some pretty decent fish I don't know these fish don't look that big we got to catch them first to find out there's one soft bites no they are not that big they're not that big just as I thought Still fun to catch though. It's always fun to catch crappie. See you buddy. So basically this is this is all I'm doing. This is what I did last couple years is idle down the shoreline looking for pieces of rock, big boulders. These crappie will hang out on sometimes. Um, any type of lay down. And as you can see this it's like this 15 to 20 foot mark is a kind of the sweet spot for summertime. They'll, they'll hold to this. They might get a little bit deeper, 22, 23 feet uh, as the summer goes on, but they, they stick to this 15, 20, 22 foot range um, probably till the end of August and definitely, it might even go all the way through September. It depends what kind of weather we got in September. If, it's, if it starts to get cold and water temps start to drop, then they'll start changing their pattern. But this is, uh, 
it sounds like spring's over, post spawn is over. Summertime crappie fishing is here. There he is. There's finally there's one. Oh yeah, there's our crappie. I did have to switch it up to more of a natural pattern. A little small fry. That's a healthy crappie though. They're already, it's mid-June and they're already out in about 18, 19 feet of water. Of course, they could have spawned on some of this timber that's down there, but most of our fish up north spawn pretty shallow. So I'm gonna let this guy go. See you, buddy. Get back down there. They're way down there. They're hiding. Yep, there he is. But they are aggressive enough to come out and take a look. This is a little guy. That is not the uh, river crappie I'm used to catching. Typically on this river you get into some good 11, 12 inch black crappie. I've yet to catch a big white crappie this this year, this summer. That's kind of the goal. Catch a you know, pound and a quarter, pound and a half white crappie up north. There he is. There we go. It's a crappie. It's a good one. Yep. That is a good fish. That is the crappie we were after on the river here today. Getting into that summertime fishing pattern. Deeper water, vertical jig presentations work real well especially if you're on top of these brush piles. That is a healthy, healthy fish. There he is. That's a good crappie, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That is, that's the river crappie we were after. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. Appreciate you watching as always. Well, that is going to wrap it up for me today. A uh, ton of boat traffic out here. It's kind of one of the nicer weekends getting into June. And uh, we're, in, we're in summertime patterns. Uh, as you saw, most of those crappie that I, were, I was catching either yesterday or today, they're deeper, that 15 to 20 foot mark. That's kind of where I'm probably gonna start finding them all the way through summer. Um, probably even into early part of September. That's where they're going to start hanging out. If you can find any type of rock pile, big boulder, um, brush pile, cribs, anything like that in that depth range, odds are pretty good you're going to find some fish. Now, if you notice, I actually had to use side imaging. I scanned quite a bit of shoreline to actually find the, uh, the rock piles or the cribs or the brush piles that actually had the most fish, which I actually found towards the end of the day today. You're going to have to do that. Okay, Not every rock pile or brush pile is going to be the same. So you're going to have to move a lot. Obviously, I have the benefit of live scope. If you don't, once you scan with side imaging, find that brush pile, find that rock pile that you think has fish on it, go back over with down imaging or 2D sonar. It's going to take some time. You might have to go back over it five, six times. Um, but at this depth, you should be okay. You shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't spook too many fish anyway, 15 to 20 foot range. And then throw out that marker buoy. Um, it's going to give you the benefit of knowing where the brush pile is or that rock pile that whatever you're fishing over and then it's going to give you the benefit of actually having something to cast at speaking of casting i had two different setups i was using today um, these are my well two of my three casting rods this is the seven foot six acc this is your all-purpose multi-species rod that acc has i seven foot six walleye bass crappie like anything anything finesse style baits anyway. And then this is the uh, the eight footer. I love the eight footer for my slip bobber rigs, but it's also a great hybrid casting jig rod. Um, it's long enough you can actually vertical jig, get it out away from the trolling motor, but it is still short enough you can actually cast it out. Using a 16th ounce jig today on the eight footer, I was using a 3 16th ounce jig on the seven and a half. The crappie monster small fry, uh, the monster milk, pattern. That pattern right there mimics a lot of bait fish. You're going to catch a ton of crappie with it this summer. Uh, get yourself 20% off. 
Go to crappiemonster.com, use promo code DAVIS, that is all capital letters, D-A-V-I-S. Get you 20% off your order. Pick up a couple packs of these Monster Milk. Since the big boats are out to play, I'm actually gonna get off the water. Uh, appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck this summer, catch a ton of crappie vertical jig approach, maybe do a little bit of casting, but these 15 to 20 foot range, if you can find some brush piles, there's gonna be some crappie set up on them. Go catch them.